Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Bit One Grade. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use the Binance API documentation. So uh, if you you go to this address okay i'm gonna put this uh, address uh below this video okay so this is the official finance api documentation so uh this uh, documentation has all the uh features and functions uh that are based on finance api and you can use uh information from documentation to build your own program or trading bot okay. and uh, building a program or application requires a lot of customization so I think uh, it is very uh, it is necessary to learn uh, how to use the API documentation uh, in order for uh, customization and find out uh, uh, what are possible with a uh, finance api service okay. Okay. okay and uh the most important thing is to read uh, this uh, introduction part okay and uh if you go to the introduction part section okay there's something called the api library and uh since uh my channel uh, is focusing on python I i'm going to use the uh python connector okay so and here is the uh address for a website that gives you uh information about python connector okay so if you click here okay okay and you're gonna go to uh this this website Okay, Binance slash Binance Connector Python. And uh this library, okay, this uh this library uh gives you information to do how to do authentication. Okay. And authentication is a necessary thing to connect uh to to have access to your account. Okay, so in order to place uh uh, new orders or something like that you need authentication to access your account at Binance and uh, and this is a very important part okay so uh, this part gives you uh, allows you to uh, connect to your account and uh, this authentication part requires uh, two things the API key and API secret and you can get it from your uh, Binance uh, API section okay? and uh, this should be should come from you okay you you create uh, API key and secret from your uh, Binance account okay? okay so following the information uh, from a previous uh, website okay you, you need to uh, start with the uh, importing library yes Okay, from finance dot spot uh, space import space spot as a uh, client okay and by typing this you can uh, create a client uh, which allows you to uh, access your account okay so uh, this is a necessary thing for stuff like uh, placing order So once you do that, uh, you can use the uh, uh, things introduced in uh, Binance API documentation. Okay. okay. So uh, that's very important. Start. Okay. And uh, another uh, starting point uh, is here. Okay. So if you look at here. Uh, no, 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 no. So 
So if you go to market data endpoint, this uh, section will give you information how to get uh, information from exchange. Okay. So we are gonna in this video, I'm, I'm gonna try this. Okay. Try to uh, get the exchange information. Okay. And you're gonna notice that here. Okay. Get slash API slash v3 slash exchange info. Okay. And just just look at uh just just looking at this is not uh sufficient okay to execute this uh function okay so and uh to execute this you need to know the uh base URL okay and base URL uh you can get it from the introduction part okay so here. Oh, not, not introduction. Okay, general info. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, under general info section, uh, it says the base endpoint is this https uh, colon slash slash api dot finance dot com. Okay, so this is the base uh, endpoint. Okay, and uh, you add additional uh address okay after this okay to do uh uh different things okay so okay so so here you should uh put uh api dot finance dot com okay here then you add the uh the remaining part okay, to to execute this okay. and uh, let, let's try uh, this function using uh, Python okay. okay so uh as I said uh, you should start with the uh, base endpoint here okay then uh, use uh, additional information okay so uh, this is the base URL okay and to get the information uh, we need the request uh, library okay so I put request here okay and let's see if this works oh I'm gonna use the request and URL this and uh, I'm gonna use the request get okay and uh, I'm gonna get I want to get the information in JSON uh, format so I put JSON here okay run this and print the data and see and we get the uh, exchange information in JSON format okay so here And this is a quite long information, okay. Okay, so uh, the uh, symbol EGLD BMV, okay, status trading, base asset EGLD, base asset precision eight digit, quote asset BMV, okay. So we, we can get all the tickers, uh, that are traded uh, in Binance Exchange using this uh, function, okay. and uh, using base endpoint and other information provided from uh, this uh, Binance API documentation, okay, such as DApps, you you can get the information from order book, okay. and uh, and in this case, uh, you need uh, that there is the required parameters, okay, so need to uh, add symbol or uh, information okay so if you add uh, BTC USDT this will give you uh, order book information for uh, BTC USDT okay okay so uh once you 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 are you 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 uh, you become familiar with the base URL and uh, once you uh, try uh, different uh, uh, features from uh, API documentation 
uh, I I believe that you, know, you will be uh, very good at uh, the handling the API uh, from a Binance service. Okay, and uh, you don't have to look for uh, other people to help you. Uh, you can just read the documentation here and uh, build your own program or application. So uh, this was very uh, uh, easy and the beginner's uh, tutorial on Binance API documentation. And uh, if you find this uh, video to be uh, helpful or interesting, uh, please uh, like and subscribe on my channel. Okay? Uh, and uh, uh, I will come back with uh, more useful videos. Okay? Thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>